Hello people, I'm 11 11 Co. We're going to look at some numbers with an archery sequence. First, I want to look at the 369 code again. Looking at how Nikola Tesla, maybe he got his zero point energy from this vortex math. As you'll see, as I've said about the 124875 code, which is the 9 code, 124875. That will keep going and going, producing a center point, maybe the zero. And then with the three, the six, and the nine, we've got the points on there as well. Maybe that harnesses the energy as I'm not a physicist. I won't, I won't be too sure on that, but we like things three times as well, as I've alluded to, so that's got me inspired to write the triple number sequence. And the 369 just appears everywhere, doesn't it? Whichever way you look at it. Also, on the clock, there's only two times we exist with a 369 in it. So that's quite interesting as well. And there are the three codes there for you. Energy, frequency, vibration. That's what he alluded to. There's the magic there. So when I look into the Fibonacci spiral, Fibonacci sequence, etc. Check this out. Right, let's see if I can see that right. Right. With this sequence, it starts with the zero. So then you go zero, one, and you always tally up from the number, the last number. So it'll be one plus zero, which will be one again. So then 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and so forth. Keep adding the previous number, and it just go on into infinity. But yeah, that might just look like a sequence, but it's just a sequence. Once upon a time it was just a sequence, until you realised that sequence actually appears in, it, in nature, everywhere in nature. The human body, look at your hand. There's a sequence going right there, fingers, into your hand, arm, so forth, look it up. Then also, if you apply it to some sort of geometry, you can end up getting a golden spiral from that sequence. Now this golden spiral is everywhere. Galaxies, you'll see a spiral galaxy we live in, hurricanes a spiral. You know, you'll notice water leaving the tap, always in a spiral shape. And also off the back of the spiral, it'll produce a ratio, a golden ratio of 1.618. There's a few numbers past that, but it's concentrate on them. Why that is, is because, say in nature, you've got a plant, it's got a lot of leaves, and it's growing. If it grows in that golden spiral Fibonacci sequence, then it allow all the light to come in, so each petal or each leaf will get the sunlight and in turn the rain can say hit a leaf, can you have one appear on it and so forth so it can make its way in the spiral down into the root so it can feed and grow and you'll notice that's everywhere, this golden spiral is everywhere you can build with this golden spiral and the building will start and will have that uh, definitely I've seen buildings with this in it but they're like encased like with a square around it like that so you don't actually see the spiral but it's there. What else want to look at? Not just out of um because I like numbers and I've showed this before but I've got to show it again. Why not? That adds up to seventeen seventy six, that's when the Illuminati were formed. Look on the back of the dollar now and it's out there. There's also a seal, it's in Latin. It talks about new worlds and the dawning of a new age hence that's where they got the new world order from I see it as a new age of Aquarius but it's whichever way you want to look at it as we know 432 is a healing hertz adds up to 9 part of the 369 code as we know and I'll chuck that in I want to master something that's what a Buddha once said I want to master something 
He said it'd take 10,000 hours. So I thought, let's say we done that seven hours a day, every day of the week. That'd take four years to master something. So yeah, not a lot of time to waste. I hope this is um, inspired you on to maybe have a look into this if you haven't before. One last final thing I'll show you with a bit of numbers, why not? You know I love the mile. Um, if you're watching my video, you know that. <laughs> so, we're looking at 432 again, proud of that. Because, you know, it might only be like we said, it was only a sequence. But the Fibonacci turned out to be more than a sequence, didn't it? By the way, Fibonacci was a person, it was named after the person who found the sequence. Italian. So, um, anyway, 432, we use 1260 math. So if you do 432 times the 12, we would get that sum there. That's what the mark give us. And 432 times 60 will give you that sum. Or this one, I know about. 25,920 is the universal cycle. Everything in the universe goes around there. That's how long it will take. So if you observe the universe now, and where the stars were, or whatever, the whole complete picture, then it would take you 25,000. 920 years to see that exact picture again. It's called the Universal Cycle. And they're made up what, from 12 ages. It's 12, 12 signs of the zodiac. These 12 ages last 2,160 years. How do I know that? Because it adds up to that. And the last age was Pisces. And if you look into the calendar of the Maya, it ends on the 21st of the 12th. 2012, so precise, but it ended there, why? Why didn't they carry on the time? Yeah, they were dead and gone by now, this calendar was still going. So, but they knew that they didn't need to measure it from then, why? Because there was a new age. That's the age of Aquarius, that's when it begins. Well, that's what I reckon anyway. If you've got any thoughts on it, I don't mind any comments, any subscribers. I'm peace, I'm love, and I love you all. Have a great day.